Welcome to the Plant Free MD podcast with Dr. Anthony Chafee, where we discuss diet and nutrition and how this affects health and chronic disease. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining another episode of the Plant Free MD. I'm your host, Dr. Anthony Chafee. And today I have a very special guest, Dr. Elizabeth Bryce. In your practice currently, so you, you deal with hormones, are you treating patients at the moment? Or are you? Yes, online, than... online only. I mean, I, I, uh, I also use the carnivore diet, high fat carnivore diet as a treatment modality. So yeah, that's right. my, my first book came out in 2016, mm-hmm. quite some time ago, but I was talking about high fat carnivore and women's hormones and how basically the menopausal symptoms are not, don't have anything to do with menopause. So I wrote it right around, I went into menopause. So, mm-hmm. and I had gone carnivore then, but in the eighties and nineties, uh, there was Suzanne Summers who uh, was pushing the bioidentical hormone. When I hit menopause, I, I Googled it and I, oh, this is all the thing. These are the only things you see online. And I was quite upset by that because I didn't associate myself. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, Zhao Ga master. I went back and forth to Hong Kong. I trained. And so it's not something that I associated my, these symptoms were not what I was experiencing. Mm-hmm. And it just it really made me angry. So I just, I did a lot of research into it and, it basically comes down to the fact that uh, most 85 to 95% of both male and female steroid hormones are synthesized in the adrenals. Mm-hmm. So when you lose, when your ovarian production of estrogen, for example, diminishes, it doesn't go away because they are still being synthesized in the adrenals. So we when but medicine did not know that until 1988 when they saw uh, men who've been castrated their their testosterone levels went down initially and then they came back up because the adrenals were continuously synthesizing testosterone you're reducing uh you're taking away stimulants Mm -hmm. because you're not eating carbohydrates Mm -hmm. there's more fat so the high fat is an important part of it you make uh, if you look at the steroid hormone cascade it's they're all made out of cholesterol so if women are concerned, I mean, it starts over here on the left with uh, cholesterol, then pregnenolone, then progesterone, and uh, estrogen is all the way to the right of the cascade under testosterone. So mm-hmm. you, can't, you can't make any of these hormones if you're not eating any cholesterol, which is mm-hmm. what most women do. They avoid cholesterol because they want to be real thin. And also because they're told not to eat any fat because they'll their heart will, will explode. So, I mean, I know my mother and my grandparents, my family's from the South, and they all start, stopped eating. They started using Crisco in the 50s and then the Ansel Keys right around the time, 1958, the Ansel Keys Seven Countries Study came out. Right around that time was when I know my grandparents stopped eating animal fat. I just saw a, a, an article um, that was posted about Crisco and how Procter and Gamble bought Crisco. It was things from the Germans and it was like a, a machine lubricant for like tank, uh, yeah. tank wheels. And, yeah, and then they, exactly. they, they paid off the American Heart Association, $20 million in today's valuation to mm-hmm. lie and say that it was very heart healthy and better for the heart than for, right. than, uh, animal fats were, which is just insane. It, it's not only now it, this started um, in, in the Victorian era, basically, which is what I talk about in my second book, Puberty and, and Adolescence, uh, mm-hmm. fat has been, fat and, and and meat have been demonized. Women have been going through this a lot longer than, you know, since 1958. Mm-hmm. So it, it all, I'm sure that they get away with it because that is what has been on the agenda for quite some time, culturally speaking. 